Today we're going on a bourbon hunt. A bourbon hunt in the queen city of the Ozarks. A bourbon hunt in Springfield. Springfield, Missouri that is. Birthplace of Route 66 and Bass Pro Shops. And today we have this guy with us. We kidnapped him. His name's Ryan. Say hi, Ryan. Hi. He's not a runner, luckily, and he likes bourbon. So he's gonna take us on a tour of the Show Me State. That's all. That is a work of art. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Springfield. My name's Arthur. And I'm Scott. And I'm Ryan. And this is Artfully Bourbon. And here we go. Hey, Scott, have you ever been here before? Yeah, I actually went to school here at Missouri State, but I haven't hunted much bourbon. We'll be going to some locations we've been to and some new stores to us. If you know of a good place to find bourbon near Springfield that we miss, let us know in the comments. And today, we're looking for interesting bourbon. Local bourbon, store picks, good deals on allocated finds, or things we just don't already have. We're gonna start our tour at McAdoodles. According to Google, this is one of the best stores in town. McAdoodles is a Missouri chain with locations all across the state. Let's go see what we can find. Lots of store picks. Rebel Cast Strength, Maker's Mark Private Selection, Oak and Eden, Dickel 15 Year Single Barrel. There's a Woodford Double Oak, but it's $71. They had a few Nulu options, including Toasted and Cast Strength, which is a favorite. Passed on it, but we might have to go back. I question bourbon from Ohio, but here is a Middle West. They have some standard expressions, and they have this double cast collection rye whiskey. Five years, and its MSRP is $99. Man, it's a pretty bottle. Have you ever seen this? Should we pick it up? Dad's hat? What is that? Here's a Barrel King from Bourbon, Missouri. We haven't tried it yet, but we hear good things. Jack Daniels Bonded Rye. And here's a Calumet 16. We tried the 15, but we haven't tried the 16 yet. Here's a Duke, it comes from Kentucky. It's sourced from Green River Distilling, and this bottle is the Founders Reserve. McAdoodles has a lot of good bourbon options and a few unique finds that we don't see a lot in Missouri. At McAdoodles, we bought the Jack Daniels Bonded Rye. We picked up the Dickel 15 year single barrel couple bottles that we have yet to try and we also got the Duke Founders Reserve in honor of my dad John Wayne yeah he's not the Duke of course but had to pick this one up we've been to McAdoodle several times and the customer service is always great if you're in Springfield head to the north side and check out the store and if you drive a Tesla this location doubles as a charging station I mean, where else can you charge and bourbon hunt at the same time? Yeah, it has gas pumps as well. This next stop is one I used to go to in college. The Missouri State Campus Brown Derby. 
Brown Derby is a local Springfield chain that opened in 1937. Well, it doesn't look like a huge selection. Here's Mooney Small Batch Bourbon from Missouri, something we've never seen before. It's 80 proof and it looks a little bit like apple juice. I think we're gonna pass. Here's a Planters Ozark Highlands Whiskey. It's another local. It isn't technically a bourbon, but it's a whiskey from Missouri and it's 100 proof. This is batch number six, but other than that, we don't know a whole lot about this one. As expected, there is limited selection in the glass case as well. So we ended up getting the Planters Ozark Highlands Whiskey. It was the most interesting local bottle we've seen so far. We don't know much about it, so leave a comment if you're familiar with this one or have tried it in the past. Okay, let's hit the next stop. Well, we've made it to Springfield Discount Liquor. This is a local store. Let's head inside and see what they have. There's a no mask sign on the door and it's not related to COVID. It probably means there's no good bourbon. So okay. do, you, do you mind if we just take just a couple clips in here? I don't know if the owner will allow that or not. I can't okay. say yes or no. That's, well, we don't have to use it. I mean, that's not something I can say yes or no to. I'm the piss on low man on the total pole. Oh, what right. YouTube channel is it? It's called Artfully Bourbon. Gotcha. Unfortunately, our bourbon is very low. Lesson learned, no bourbon and no filming allowed. If you're looking for bourbon in Springfield, this is not your place. Nothing bought, no money spent. On to the next one. Whiskey Tango's is a locally owned and operated store just outside of Springfield, located in Ozark, Missouri. It's been in business for nearly 40 years. The store focuses on store picks. Lots of good options. A high proof cast strength dream. Redline, RY3, Stellum, Bare Knuckle High Rise, Starlight, and lots of standard stuff. Tiakida, a Springfield bourbon that we did not pick up. We'll have to get it next time. I wicked. Have you tried this one? Let us know what you think. So the best part of this store was Brian. He let us sample a store pick, then another, and another, and another. We ended up tasting most of the options they had. The RY3 and the Red Line really stood out to us. Whiskey Tango's is a great experience. We could have blown our entire budget here, but we ended up just picking up the RY3 store pick. It is so tasty. That is a work of art. One more stop. Let's go. The most iconic and interesting Brown Derby store is this one, the International Wine Center. They have a restaurant, a shop, lots of wine, but I also hear they have bourbon in there. So let's go check it out. Here's a Blue Note uncut store pick, a Kentucky bourbon bottled in Memphis, Tennessee. We ended up tasting this one, but it wasn't one of our favorites, so we passed on it. But we got some good other stuff. They have the best overall selection that we've seen so far today. They have the standards and a small special bottle shelf. 
And if you know, you know, there is a back room with the best of the bottles that they have available. They had some good old elk options. The four grain and the 107 proof double wheat. Man, I really like what old elk is doing with some of their expressions. We have one already, but they had a McKenna for $60, so we picked up another one. What did we end up walking out with today? Well, we got the McKenna bottled and bond. We picked up the Blue Run Reflections 2. We have a Reflections 1, so we decided to add to that series. And we are taking home the Old Elk Double Wheat. Oh, and one more thing. After chatting and tasting bourbon with Jen, she offered something not on the menu. We ended up picking up another weeded, the Weller Foolproof. Uh, so this was a good store, good options, and really helpful employees. Make sure to check out the Brown Derby Wine Center in Springfield, Missouri. something a bourbon or a location let us know in the comments if you want to see more bourbon hunting videos hit that like button below and we'll be opening some of these bottles in a future episode so make sure you hit that subscribe button hit the notification bell and join us on this bourbon adventure thanks for watching until next time enjoy responsibly peace Okay, we gotta have something. Did it record that time?